Hi, welcome to Quasar. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you do the matrix calculation using the Canon F789SGA calculator. This is a calculator, so we're going to do the to find matrix uh, inverse matrix determinant. Also, we do uh, multiplication, addition, find matrix transpose, identity matrix, another feature of this calculator related to matrix. So in this calculator, you can do up to four by four matrix calculation. And also in order to work with the matrix, we have four memory matrix A, B, C, and D. And you can enter your matrix values into those memory and then do the calculation. Also, there is another memory called matrix answer, which also will be counted as five matrix. Let's say you want to do calculation of matrix A and B, and then the result will be added to C. So you can do that. So let's get started. To, to start the matrix, press mode, and then press number seven, matrix. Now it asks you which matrix you want to work with or at which matrix you want to store. So one, two, three, four, which is matrix A, B, C, and D. I'm pressing one for matrix A. Now it's asking me for the dimension. Let me show you what I want to do for matrix A. I, I would like to, so this is matrix A. I would like to use this three by three matrix. So from my screen, this arrow shows that I can go down. So you see four by four, four by two, four by one, and all value with four. So I'm pressing this arrow to come down. So three by three, which is number two. Now this is a uh, empty spot for matrices appeared. So how I enter is by, by row from left to right. So seven, four, five, and then I, for each value, I press enter. So the cursor will move to the next one. So two, three, and zero, I will continue. So I'm pressing seven and then equal sign. So when I press equal sign, the cursor moves to the next one. So four equal sign, five equal sign. As you can see, my cursor has moved to the second row. Now I'm gonna enter this two, three, and zero. So two equal, three equal, zero equal. And the next line, eight, one, nine. Every time I press equal sign. So when the last value is entered, this matrix A is completed. I can press clear all. So don't worry, M80 is here. The value is in the memory. To recall or bring the, the value from memory, press apps and then A, number three. So I'm bringing matrix A. So now the matrix is here. If I press equal sign, I will see all the values. When I move the cursor, the value is also displayed here. If the value is decimal, you will see the mm, fraction or absolute value here. So let's enter for matrix A. I'm entering all this value, so clear all. To enter a new matrix, press apps and then data, number two. Here, if you open a, let's say matrix B, it will be empty if you press, if you bring A, you can edit it. Let me bring it just for sake of argument. One, you see, now I can change the values and press enter. Let's say this four, I want to make it five. And when I press equal sign, now clear all, the matrix A has been altered. So let me go back and change it. So number three, press two, dimension one. And then you see it, it's five, so I'm making it four back. So my calculation are correct. So let's enter this matrix B, so apps, press two, data, and then for B, press two. Now, like before, go to the next screen, three by three, which is two. Now, the values I will enter with minus, starting with minus one, and this way, minus one, five, twenty-six. I can enter this minus, and then plus uh, one, uh, or I can use this button. Both of this, both of them will work. So let's enter minus one and then equal five, equal 26, equal. So the values first row has moved. So now the cursor is here and the second one. So three, 14, nine, three, 14, nine, and then zero, four, eight for the third row, zero, four, eight. All the values have been entered, clear all. So the screen is now cleared. <laughs> Let's say you want to do uh, add matrix A to matrix B here. So bring press apps for matrix A, press three, and then press, press the plus sign, 
bring matrix B number four so matrix A times matrix B so that multiply uh, add sorry so that these are the value let's do matrix B multiply by matrix A clear all so matrix B number four multiply I'm pressing the multiplication sign and then apps number three so matrix B multiply by matrix A this way we will do the uh, multiplication of matrix now let's say you want to do the this value that you uh, multiplied so a times b now is in into answer as an answer and you want to multiply it by two or add or something so that's very simple press all clear apps and meet ans this mean matrix answer press number seven this is the result if i press equal sign i will see those values but i'm pressing all clear now the last value will be entered into the memory so which is correct matrix answer press seven multiply by two so it will be scaled by two all the values multiply by two now let's say you want to find the determinant of a so all clear all go to apps this arrow shows that we can go one screen lower so come down and here one is determinant then bring your matrix a on the screen press apps matrix a number three close it so that is the determinant the determinant of a matrix is a number let's say you want to find inverse of matrix a all clear so go with apps with the arrow come down and then you see inverse number five and then apps bring the matrix i press three so inverse of matrix a so this is the inverse now you see the cursor is here and 3.8571 and here we see the exact value this is the decimal rounded value so any of these cells that you needed row or column just bring your cursor to get the exact value you can do the inverse the other way as well apps go bring matrix a number three and then you can do this inverse regularly the way you do it in your book and notebook so just press to the power minus one equal sign so you'll get the inverse of a matrix uh, in inverse transpose of a matrix is the value that you put all the columns into row and row into column so you just convert them so to get the transpose in your calculation let's say you need it let's say transpose of a matrix a uh, times matrix b so you press apps go down so here is trn transpose number two and then bring any matrix you want matrix a so i'm bringing bringing transpose of matrix a now if you if i press equal sign i'll get the transpose but if you want to do other calculation in line you can do it so let's say transpose to matrix a plus matrix b so matrix b number four so that is transpose of a plus matrix b so this is the result now we know uh, inverse of a matrix multiplied by a matrix is an identity matrix so you can do directly here number three multiply by apps three and then inverse if i press equal sign that is an identity if you need to do identity matrix and uh, do some calculation you can bring identity matrix on the screen come down and you will see IDE number three so this is identity matrix here it asks the dimension because identity matrix is a squared matrix it has the same uh, row and dimension so you just need one value if we say three equal sign you will get a diagonal of one three by three if you put two or four so you get this way the identity matrix sometimes you need the adjoint of a matrix because uh, if you in some calculation to get the inverse so you need one over determinant 
so you can uh, multiply by a joint so to get the adjoint plus apps adjoint number four and then make matrix b let's say bring matrix b number four again so this is the adjoint of a matrix canon f789 sga calculator to do matrix calculations if you like the video please thumb up and also please don't forget to subscribe to get updates for my upcoming videos thank you for watching